Flint Town, Flint Town, for 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 Flint Town. What's going on, Nation? It's your boy S. Dot Baker. Man, I'm tired. But yo, everybody's been telling me to go check out it, man. They said this movie is legit scary. And like nothing scares me. Nothing at all scares your boy. Except the police. They scared the out of me. But everybody's saying this movie is like the one. Like if you really want to get scared in a movie, go check out this movie. And what really like kind of pushed me over to go actually see this movie, like I was gonna go see it, but I wasn't like really tripping, like I got to go see this movie. But what really pushed me over to go see the movie is uh, a YouTuber that I watch named Carcino. He went and saw the movie. He did like, I guess like a, re a review on it. I didn't get a chance to watch the whole thing. It was like almost two hours long. But uh, he went to go see the movie and my mans was shaking. Like, he like, I wasn't ready for that. And I'm like, damn, it's a grown ass man. And he, that movie had him like that. So once I saw that, I was like, your boy got to go. Like, I got to go see this now. So I'm on my way to this little movie theater out in North Hollywood. Little cheap boy boy. I ain't want to go to Universal because Universal are taxing you. Don't go to Universal Movie Theater. I ain't for to pay all that money just because you got a bar upstairs. Nobody even drinks like that. We sneak it in the movie theater. <laughs> Which, actually, I was going to, but I bought a pint of Hennessy instead of like a half pint. I'm like, man, I ain't for to go to the movie theater with this big ass bottle of Hennessy. So, I left the Henny at home. I'm gonna be good, I'm gonna be responsible, and not drink the Henny while I'm watching the movie. Yeah. Plus, if I get too turned, my old ass will probably end up falling asleep. So, I'm gonna just be cool about it. Go ahead and just watch the movie how the movie should be watched with some slurpy or as they call icy and some nachos actually i might not get the nachos i had a pretty big dinner i ain't even really hungry like that i just hate going to the movies without snacks i'm all about that snacks in the movie life so i don't know we'll see let's see how i feel when i get there i still got a little walk to go but yeah, man, yo, if you seen it, yo, leave a comment at the bottom. Let me know how you feel about it. Did it scare you? I'm going to let y'all know when I get out, you know? The movie starts in like 10 minutes, and I think I'm like eight minutes away from the theater. It's probably not. I'm lying. I think it's like right here at this light. So, but next, I can't even front. Your boy extremely tired, man. Like, I kind of almost didn't want to even do it. But I was like, man, you got to do what you got to do for the greatest nation. You know that nation. The nation that's fueled by love and everybody hating. We make sure everybody is straight. And now we're on the verge of being great. <laughs> All because of y'all. Your boy just hit 300 subscribers. I'm out here on the grind, baby. I'm out here networking, talking to other YouTubers. I still gotta do a video. Just giving a shout out to a couple of y'all who've been like faithfully watching the videos, faithfully commenting on the videos. I'm telling you, that love is appreciated. That love is appreciated. So, I'm about to go ahead. Man, I hope this ain't the line. This look like it might be a line in this piece. Y'all gonna, hey, I don't care if it is a line. I paid my money, so y'all gonna let me see this movie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, next one. Let me see what's popping real quick, and I'm gonna get a draw in a second.
decided that I am going to get something. I don't know when we get nachos though. Like I so said, I think that's just a little too much for me. I might just grab like a little drinky drink or something. Now I'm starting to wish I had brought that Hennessy. Because I'm not going to get nachos. I definitely should have brought the Hennessy with me. They wouldn't have known. So yeah, but I'm definitely going to probably grab a little something to drink, you know. But yeah, man, let's go ahead and get this thing cracking, man. Like, is this movie really about to be that scary? I don't know. I'm kind of hoping so. I mean, I read somewhere even Stephen King was like, yo, I wasn't really ready for that. He was like, come on, man, you wrote it. So how could you not be ready for it? You wrote it. I heard this movie is really about that. Are you about that? I'm kind of mad, though, because I don't think they got a reserved seat. I don't think they about to put my little ugly ass in the front. Yeah, man, I think I'm about to be in the front. I don't, I don't think I'm feeling that. Hope not too many people came to go see this movie at this theater. That's why I came here. Besides the fact it was a little bit cheaper, I was hoping like there's a little low key hole in the wall, but man, oh, and it wasn't a line outside. I was people just standing out there conversing with each other. I guess they probably went to go see it. I was like, oh my God, we gotta talk about it outside in front of everybody and make sure everybody can think that's a line. <laughs> I'm about to go ahead and grab my little snacky snack and my drinky drink. And man, I'm gonna see y'all when I get out, man. Cause I'll be for obvious reasons, I can't vlog in the theater. So I'm gonna see y'all when I get out. Wish me luck, man. Hope this thing don't scare me to death. <laughs> to death. Oh. See y'all in a minute, nation. Wish me luck. All right, Nation, it's your boy S. Dot again, and we just left the It movie. All right. No, it didn't scare me like that at all. Like, not, not even close. Like, I was nowhere near terrified of this movie. I don't see what people were talking about. It was not scary to me. However, that was kind of some freaky <laughs> that was going on in this movie. Um... And be forewarned, if you live in any city like Derry, Derry was the name of the city where all this was going down. If you live in any city like that, get the f out. Because when you really think about it, only freaky shit happen in cities like that. Straight up. Like, you don't hear about no freaky stuff like that happening in New York. You don't hear about no freaky stuff happening like that in Miami. No, only in Derry. Only in a city like Derry where you will get killer clowns abducting your kids or whatever city Elm Street is, you got some guy haunting your kids' dreams. Like, bruh, don't live in a city like that, man. I'm telling you, it ain't worth it. But yeah, overall, the movie was dope, though. I'm not taking nothing from the movie. The movie was fire. Like, you know, it had some comedy in it, you know what I'm saying? But the movie's all about getting over your fears. You know, that's how they were able to basically beat it, by not being afraid of him. So that's what I take from the movie. It's all about getting over your fears, you know? False evidence appearing real. When they found out that they had no fear of this man, they was able to take care of him. And, spoiler alert, there will definitely be a part two. How do I know there will be a part two? Because from my understanding, and I could be wrong, and please correct me if I'm wrong, but from my understanding, when the first It came out, it was a two-parter. You had when they were kids, and then they had it when they were adults. And this movie is just the same. The whole movie is about when they were kids, and now the second part is going to be about when they were adults. And, you know, they basically say it at the end, when the movie ends, it says, It, Chapter 1. So there's a Chapter 2 coming. But overall, man, the movie was dope, but I wasn't scared at all. Like, it did nothing to me like that. I don't know what my man Carcino was doing. That man was shaking. And that's what had me like, oh my God, I gotta go see this movie, man. Like, this movie got my man over there. No, not as dot. 
<laughs> I'm still more afraid of the, the police. Now, if they run up here, you might see me shake. <laughs> but nonetheless, man, I would still say go see it. Maybe you guys have a different perception on it. Maybe you won't. I don't know. It just didn't scare me. But I still like the movie. I still think the movie was dope. So, go check it out, man. Go check out it. You know? I'm about to get ready to go to the crib. Get ready to chop this up for y'all. And, you know, maybe even like get a game of Madden in or something. I really need to go to bed. Your boy out here in a lot of pain. Like, I don't think y'all understand. Like, I am in a lot of pain. I am extremely sore. And I think it comes from like doing all these push-ups because I noticed like when I first did the first day of push-ups, I obviously I wasn't doing them right. I was just banging them out. Boom, 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 boom. So when I started doing them correctly, that's when I started to get become more sore. Because I was doing them the right way. I was going all the way down, coming all the way back up. Then on top of that, I've been working out with a trainer who, you know, really has been like putting it on me. So, your boy is extremely sore. Like even just holding his phone like this, it's kind of killing me right now. But for the next year, we got to do what we got to do and hit y'all with that content. You feel me? But, um, Nation, man, I'm, I'm going to tell you like this. Go see it. Let me know how y'all feel about it. If it's scared y'all, you know what I'm saying? Put it in the uh, comments at the bottom. But it didn't scare me, all right? So let me go ahead and get to the crib, y'all. I got nothing but love for you, nation. Hope y'all guys having a great night. I'm having a great night. Besides the fact I had to go master date, but <laughs> master date. <laughs> well, I'm going to get up out of here, nation. Much love. I'll holler at y'all next time. One. What's up, nation? I'm about to bang out these push-ups for today. The only reason I'm doing them in the house because my boys are playing. I don't want to miss a second. Hell to the victor, go blue. You know how we do. Michigan. <laughs> All right, let's get these in.